In this episode of EVTV Ireland, we will tell you everything you need to know about EasyGo, Ireland's first private charging company with over 400 charge points nationwide, many of which are free to use. Hello and welcome to EVTV Ireland, the show that tells you everything you need to know about electric vehicles in Ireland. My name is Elizabeth. There are two ways to register for EasyGo, prepay subscription account or pay as you go. With prepay, you need to top up your account to use charge points that aren't free, but you don't need to add any funds for free charge points. If you top up by €20, Euro, you get a free key fob, which you can use to start and stop charging. If you don't have a fob, you can use the EasyGo app or their website instead. With pay as you go, you pay each time you charge. After selecting one of these options, the registration screen is displayed and there you can register or log in. Registration is quick and easy and once you've completed the form you'll receive an email with confirmation link that you need to paste into your browser. Pretty standard stuff. Click register or sign up to log in and the map is displayed. If you zoom out you can see that the map only displays charges within a certain distance from your location. To see charges elsewhere you have to enter a location such as Yol. There are charge points at two locations in Yol. You've got two ESB slow charge points at SuperValue, as well as two EasyGo charge points at Lidl, which are free to use for customers and can be accessed 24-7. If we go to Formoy, there's another EasyGo charger at Lidl, but the information provided is different. Private charge points, such as these five charge points at the GPO at O'Connell Street in Dublin, are also displayed on the map. So you need to check before driving to a charge point you haven't used before. You can download the EasyGo app for Apple and Android devices. So let's take a look at the Android app. When you open the app, it opens in map view where you can double tap to zoom in and pinch to zoom out. You can select list to view nearby chargers or favorites to see your favorite chargers. When you tap on a charge point, the address and distance is displayed at the bottom of the screen. Tap this area or the little chevron and you get more detailed information. This screen has another area at the bottom that you can tap to get pretty much the same information as before. But you can also tap the heart on the left to favourite the charge point or the arrow on the right to open the route instructions in another app such as Google Maps. Back at the main screen you can use the three-lined hamburger menu in the top left corner to display the main menu while the fun loop button is used to filter connectors, nearby points of interest and other attributes such as displaying only charge points that you can use for free. The charge point map though isn't quite up to date. It shows a charge point in Park Road Mallow that was removed years ago due to flooding and it's also in the wrong location. Other than that it's a great app even if you sometimes have to tap a bit to get the information or option that you want. Well that's all for now. I hope you found this useful and if you do Please subscribe and tell all your friends about us and download the app. Thanks for watching.